everyone, welcome to our channel Organized by Darcy, where we take the very simple and inexpensive and make it look so, so elegant. So today I'm participating in a collab hosted by Kimberly Davis from Diva Designing on a Dime with Kimberly Davis. Now this is a five week series. We're actually in week four right now. And this week we're cleaning and organizing one area of our home. We have a choice of doing either our closet or pantry. I've chosen to do uh, my closet. So let me take you on a tour of what I've accomplished so far. Come with me. First, thank you so much, Kimberly, for hosting this collab. I'm always so excited to participate in these collabs. Let me encourage everyone, go over to Kimberly's channel, see the playlist that she has, watch the various videos, subscribe to the channels that you like, and of course, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel as well. That is if you have not already done so. And if you have, I wanna say a special thanks to you. I'm always so happy for your support. Now, let's really get started. One of the very first videos that I did approximately three and a half years ago when I first started my YouTube channel was a closet organization. Today I'm doing a closet, not organization, because I've done that so many times in the last three and a half years, but how to maintain a clean and organized closet. So there are a couple steps that I'm gonna list in detail. I'll have those in the description box below. And then I'll go through, this is actually the before I do the clean up in my closet. So you, there won't be much of a change in terms of what it looks like, but I'll go over the tips with you and then you can see what the after effect is after I've cleaned and organized this closet. Now my husband and I share the same closet. It's a walk-in closet as you can see. And I'm on the left side, my clothes that is, my clothes are on the left side and my husband's clothes are on the right side. Now, before I organize this closet or before I show you how I've made the changes in this closet, let me go over the seven tips that I'd love to share with you on how I'm able to maintain my closet this way. Tip number one is to use matching hangers. This gives the space such a uniform look. I love that all my hangers are the same. And my very first video that I did three and a half years ago, I did not have matching hangers. I had most of the hangers were um, pretty much the same, but now I've divided it where all my hangers are the, like these. They are beige hangers or white hangers here. And then the ones that are with the sweaters, they are the wood hangers and the ones on my husband's sides are the black hangers. So I have all the beige and white hangers and then he has all the wood and um, black hangers. So that's my first tip in maintaining a clean and organized closet.
Tip number two is to color coordinate your clothes. So these are not color coordinated because things are out of order right now. But after I've organized it, you'll see um, what I'm going to have is things are going to be, the colors are going to be from light to dark. So the white things are going to be in the front and then the darker colors, of course, are going to be towards the back. The other tip number three is to organize your clothes in a manner that shows whether it's a short sleeve. First I have short sleeves, then I have medium sleeves, and then I have long sleeves. So that's tip number three, to just coordinate them based on their sleeve lengths. My next tip is to create um, a boutique space in your closet. And this is my little boutique space. And it's where I keep some of my purses or my little costume earrings or costume jewelry and just about anything that makes it look like a little boutique. So that's where I keep most of the little items that I love to look at sometimes. Uh, my shoes is not part of the boutique here. It's just two or so little drawers that I've used or little areas that I've used to show that boutique look. Tip number five that I use is I have a rack here that I keep some extra purses on. So this is something I got from my kitchen. It's something that you could use to put um, pots and pans in. But what I've done is to put my purses or some of my purses upright on these little racks here. So I have them over my all over my closet here. So that's tip number five. Tip number six is to organize the drawers. In this case, this is a drawer here for my husband and I have some of his t-shirts and I've folded them in such a way that they're upright when um, I put them in the drawer. So in other words, when he pulls one out, let's say he pulls this one out, the others don't fall apart because everything is standing upright pretty much on its own. I do have several other drawers in the closet here and I'll show you how we um, organize some of the other drawers as well. Continuing on tip number six, what I have in this Chester drawer are these little cubes that I had purchased many years ago. And pretty much what I do, they, each drawer holds three of these. They're actually, I do have some extra ones on top, so I'll show you what they look like. So these are the various containers. So I do have them in this just a drawer and I use that to keep like or t-shirts some extra t-shirts um, just about anything that I needed to be folded nice and neat and kept in order I have so each drawer has three of these and I have the blue on top I have the red here or um, then I have the purple and just the different colors here. So that is what is in this chest drawer and it allows everything to have a little home of its own. And I put little um, pieces of clothes in each area. So that's how I'm able to maintain these drawers nice and organized. It's 45 minutes later and I've just finished cleaning and organizing this closet based on the seven tips that I shared with you early on. I'd love to go over the tips with you um, real quickly and then I will just do an overview of the closet or perhaps let me do the overview of the closet first and then I'll go over the tips um, in just a few more minutes.
the seven tips are as follows. In a nutshell, the seven tips to maintain a clean and organized closet is to use matching hangers, number one. Number two is to color coordinate your clothes. Um, number three is to organize their clothes based on the sleeve lengths, of course. Um, number four is to create a boutique space in your closet. Um, number five is to organize your purses in a special way, and you can use just about anything to organize your purses upright. Then number six is to organize the drawers, of course. And number seven is to um, have a donation basket in your closet to put things that you want to donate, give away, or um, share with a friend or relative. Again, those are my seven tips. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Hope you'll take the time, of course, to subscribe to my channel. That is if you have not already done so. And as I've always said, if you did, I am so, so appreciative. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday in our next video. Next Tuesday will be our final week. It's week number five, and that will decide what area for home we'd love to organize. I haven't thought of what area I'd love to organize. I could perhaps do the laundry room or a linen closet, or maybe even my, another closet that I keep um, some golf and tennis clothes in. We'll figure it out by next week. But whatever it is, I am so excited to come back and show you next week how I'm able to organize another space in my home. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday in our next video. Goodbye, and of course, good luck.